Hey, what's up everyone? So in this second episode, we're gonna start using MediaPipe, which is a popular library that is developed by Google that we can use for different tasks, like the hand tracking. We can detect all of the landmarks, so these points are called landmarks, that we can use to create some cool projects. Here we can detect the raised fingers. We have five, four, three, and one. And this is just one example. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button, that helps me a lot. And let's dive right in. So this is what we left off from our last episode. We have installed the OpenCV library. If you haven't watched this video, make sure to check it out. Now we are going to use these frames. Whenever I put my hand, we are going to detect the landmarks, which are the key points of the hands. And to do that, we have to install the MediaPipe library by going to File, Settings, and under the Python interpreter, you have to add this package. It is called MediaPipe, and it is this one, which is a popular Python package or library. It provides you with machine learning solutions, including hand tracking, pose detection. As I said, we're gonna focus on the hand tracking. Once you install the package using install package, we can close this window and import it using import, then the name MediaPipe, and we can make it shorter using SMP. We've already created the video capture object and you can change the width and the height as you like. First of all, we have to add something that is called the solution and let's give it a name, MP underscore hands for the hand tracking equals, then we're gonna use MP or media pipe dot solutions because we have different machine learning solutions like the hand tracking pose detection. I'm gonna use dot hands. So the first variable is actually a module that contains all of the functionalities that we're going to use but to create the actual object that we're going to work with we have to add it right here I'm going to call it hand equals mp underscore hands then we have the hand class or it's called hands make sure to add the parentheses because it's a class and we have created an instance out of it next we can move on to our while loop which is called over and over again each time we are reading the frame and if it's done successfully, we can process it to detect the hands inside it. Of course, we are not going to reinvent the wheel. We can use our hand object dot process, which takes in our frame as an input and it returns some results. I'm going to put it inside another variable called results or result. The only problem with this is that our frame is created using the OpenCV library and the format is a little bit different. It is called BGR not RGB, basically each pixel of an image contains three colors, which are the blue, green, and red, but our media pipe library has a different order. It is RGB, not BGR. To fix that issue, we can create another object and call it RGB frame. We have this method using cv2 dot cvt for convert color. It takes in two parameters. The first one is the current frame in BGR format, and we want to convert it to RGB using cv2 dot color underscore BGR to RGB and that's what we want now our hand object can process the RGB frame after that we need to check if we have a hand or multiple hands that are detected inside the frame using an if statement if result dot multi underscore hand landmarks in such case, we can look through all of the hands inside the frame using a for loop. So for hand landmarks, in the result, multi hand landmarks. Let's try to print it using print and the name hand landmarks. Then we can run it. And there you go, we have our window. And once I put my hand, you see that we have some values. I'm gonna hit the Q key to check the results you see that we have uh, landmarks and each landmark has a position which is the x, y, z coordinates. We can use these values to create all kinds of projects like calculating the distance between the thumb and the index. If you don't know what is a landmark, it is the key point of the hand, like the rest which is number zero, and it is the first landmark. Then we have one, two, three, four. You see that number eight is the index finger tip. Before I finish this video, I want to show these points and the connections between these landmarks and to do that we have something that is called drawing utilities or utils 
let's go on top I'm gonna call it MP uh, drawing equals we can use MP dot solutions then dot drawing utils the same thing it's a module that contains some functionalities to draw the connections and all of the landmarks we're gonna use MP drawing dot and I think you guess it draw the landmarks this takes in three parameters first we have the image that is called RGB frame then we have the hand landmarks that we need to draw it and finally what we want to draw by using MP hands and you have different options like the hand connections you see that we are displaying the frame and not the RGB frame here you have different options you could convert this back to the BGR format and display it or we can draw the connections using the first frame that is called frame and then display it let's give it a try and there you go we have all of the landmarks the bottom one which is number zero is the rest you could use it for some projects i hope you like this video if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below and i will see you in the next one